Cheers everyone and welcome to another lore video. In the last two lore videos, we covered the groups of deities on EO, the Guardians and the Renegades. Check out those videos if you missed them. All that's left now is to cover one last and fairly recent god that exists on EO, the Red God. So let's jump into it. Zabo, or as he's known now, the Red God, is the god of demons and some of their worshippers. But let's go back a bit and explain how it even got to that point in the first place. For most of EO's history, up to Spellforce 2 Shadow Wars to be precise, Zabo was actually a guardian, known as the Fiddler. The task Aonia had originally given him was. However, there will also be those who are weak and fickle, whose life does not follow the path of truthfulness. They too shall have an advocate, and it will be you, Zabo. May your cunning and nimbleness serve them as help and example. Zerbo was the god of cunning, deception, trade, music and thievery, also known as the imposter in the mirror, prince of the daft and the snow white fool. His signs were a lonely fiddler, a black cat, a crow, a mask, a fencer, a black haired youngster and a fool with snow white hair. For the longest time, Zerbo was fulfilling his duty as the god of thieves, beggars, merchants and gypsies, however he became more and more careless as time went on. Just as a reminder, the Guardians were not really allowed to interact with mortals how they pleased, which is exactly what Serbo did. He hosted games for them and fooled around a bit too much. This eventually captured the attention of the other Guardians, and they felt that they had to keep an eye on him a bit more so that he wouldn't do something really dumb and uncalled for. All of this set an ancient prophecy in motion, written hundreds of years ago by the greatest bard to ever live, Anga Arandir. It was called the Eternal Song, and I don't want to go in too deep here because I'd like to cover it in a separate video, but to explain it briefly, it says that at one point, the shadows would completely enter Eo, when the Guardians would be preoccupied with other things and couldn't watch over it. This prophecy came true around the year 17 after the Convocation. In the timeline, that's between Spellforce 1 Shadow of the Phoenix and Spellforce 2 Shadow Wars. The Spellforce 1 free game mode story takes place then, for those who didn't know. During that time, a room warrior known as the Messenger helped Toth La free his father Nashar, yes, the husband of Savina from Spellforce 2 Shadow Wars who later dies, but that's beside the point. Anyhow, Nashar gives the shadows an entrance into Eo, which most likely shook up Tsebo's relations with his fellow guardians, but he wasn't exactly exiled for it. Now, let's jump to the time between 19 and 24 AC, which is when a new demon worshipping cult arose in the Highmark, together with a made up deity they called the Red God. The cult spread quickly and soon came up with a plan to turn one of the existing guardians into this red god, their personal deity. They chose Zerbo for it because one main reason, the number of his followers was dwindling in recent years. This ultimately helped them lure him onto Eo and into their trap. They rounded up all the remaining followers of Zerbo and murdered them, which prompted Zerbo to go insane. While he was in this fragile state of mind, the cult leaders managed to shape him into the first and only demon god, the red god. That being said, they only managed to shape his mind, not his body. Their ritual got interrupted by a group of Shai Khan. The leaders of the cult were killed, and the plans got put on hold for the time being. Sadly, it was too late to save Tsabo. His physical body was gone for the moment, but it would regenerate after some time had passed. It is unknown when that would happen. It might take years, even decades, but some assume that once it does happen, the hordes of demons will be unleashed onto Eo in a way which would make the Convocation Wars look like a playdate. Now, for those of you who found the last part of the story familiar, that's because it's the story of the Spellforce 2 free game mode that takes place between the events of Spellforce 2 Shadow Wars and Spellforce 2 Dragonstorm. And that would be everything we know thus far regarding Turbo, the Red God. We sadly don't know any of his new symbols or alternative names, but then again, demons are on a talkative bunch and don't like conversing with others too often. I however do, so let me know in the comments what you think of Turbo's story. This is one that not many people actually know that well, because not everyone paid attention to the story in the free game modes in Spellforce 1 and 2. If you'd like to discuss this in more depth, I'll link the official Spellforce Discord down in the description. I'd be happy to answer any elaborate questions there. In case you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it and share it, always much appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all my uploads and lore videos. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.